Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Carabao Cup final to be played between Chelsea and Arsenal. Our bloody bogey team in this career mode. Uh, we haven't beaten them once. They beat us when we were trying to become Premier League champions. They beat us, I believe. Or we drew to them, I can't remember. They beat us a couple more times. Look at that team following the captain. Look at Mason Mount up there. Looking fantastic. Um, yeah, they beat us a couple of times, Arsenal. But hopefully, uh, in the Carabao Cup final, we'll be able to take the victory over them, especially now that we stole their best striker, who we're not even starting in this one. We're not actually starting De Ketelaer. Our road has been particularly easier than Arsenal, so let's, let's not be funny about that. It has been easier. Um, yeah, we're not starting De Ketelaer because he's tired, so we can't. Um, there is Aram Barry, uh, the man that they brought in to replace uh, De Ketelaer as their new striker. Whether he's doing as well, I don't know. The number nine, De Ketelaer on the bench, as well as Eze, Digne, Azpilicueta snuck on there, of course. Mares is on there. But the main team, the back five is as usual. Same with the normal middle three now. But we've got Majuk playing striker as the only change to the original first team due to De Ketelaer being knackered. Um, yeah, for some reason his stamina is just not as full as the rest, so I thought we'd start Majuk instead. Here is the Arsenal team featuring Jeremy Frimpong. They've got Smith Rowe on the bench there. Uh, Nick Pope on the bench also. Alex Merritt starts in goal with Akanji, Mari and Hernandez making up their back four. Odegaard is in the middle there with Giancarlo. Richarlison starting up front. Uh, Puado, Amra Barry. Oh, it wasn't Ar Aaron Barry, was it, that replaced him? It was someone else. It was someone else. Shit, that's that's why bad. It wasn't him, it was someone else. I can't remember who it was, though. Oh, well. So, look, we start. Chelsea kick off the Carabao Cup of, I believe, it's the year 2025 at this point. Um, but we started off... Oh, shit, not a great one. Okay, it's fine. Man has it under control. Um, De Ketelaer will be coming on at some point in this match, don't you worry. Right, has just sent Richarlison to the shops. Um, he'll be coming on, don't you worry, to a chorus of boos from the Arsenal fans. Uh, you'll, you'd have to assume. Uh, Richarlison has lost out to Rice again. He's managed to slide through Chiesa here. If we can find the cross and we can't... Uh, oh! Okay, we'll get the advantage. Interesting. Uh, we'll dip it in the box. Florian inverts his ball. Oh, just over the top of someone. Direct is falling for Majuk, who's offside. Great save by Alex Meret. Majuk, it fell to. His shot wasn't great. He was offside anyway, though. Meret's ball forward. Rice won it. Knocked it onto the head of Richardson, who's apparently Arsenal's player to watch. Which is interesting. I don't know if that's who I would have picked. Here's a Kanji. Drills it across to Puado. Aaron Barry. Okafor, what a name. Loses it anyway, verts, and now here's the Chelsea counter-attack. This is what we're best at, except for when you decide to do that, Federico Chiesa. What was that, boy? That was horrendous. And now, they come Arsenal again, Richardson. Okafor, I forgot his name, I think that's it. Cuado. Oh, he slipped through Richardson overhead kick. Makes Mendy headbutt the post to make the save. Jesus, a Brazilian nearly was a player to watch, then he nearly scored. Mendy's coming to claim, and he has claimed. Oh, he's also knocked someone down. I was too busy laughing at that to notice where I'd thrown it. Who did he stack on his ass? I think it was Chilwell, right? Yeah, it was. Delict. And it, it was Chilwell who's on his backside. Chilwell, though, gets up, finds Werner. His touch takes him inside. His ball gives it to Majuk. Who? What a save. What a save. Alex Moret has just caught that. It's like a face like drills at him and he just caught it. Okay, he did give the ball away, though, with his throw. Yeah, like, if we can find some room, we cannot find any room off Hernandez, who keeps it in as well. Doesn't even lose out on the corner. Brilliant defending from him. Koundé, oh, good lord. Okay, not a great touch from Koundé, but he does manage to save it. James, awful, giving away to Okafor. Giancarlo's little chest touch. Martin Odegaard switches it. His Puado, I still don't know how to say his name properly. I never will. Puado. To Hernandez, so much room for the cross. Goes for Amra Barry, and a Kafour! Oh, what a save by Edouard Mendy! Fell for Chilwell, luckily for us, it didn't fall to an Arsenal player. What a save, Edouard Mendy. Declan Rice steps in again, he's had a good game. 
Oh, look at this. Now here's the counter. This is the kind of counter I was talking about. Timo Werner's pushing forward. If we can find... Okay, not the ball I wanted, but makes a mount! On the edge of the box. Shot saved by Alex Moret. We'll take the corner quickly. Mount puts it in. Koundé! Saved by the keeper. I think it was going wide. Where's our corner then? Where is our corner? He saved it. You saw his name pop up. He literally saved it and it's a goal kick. Okay. So it must be Anthony Taylor that's the referee. Anthony Taylor's grown some hair and is uh, refereeing this game for Arsenal in favour against us. Piazza have a go from there. Why not? He has scored from that angle before. Not that time though. That was woeful that. Alex Moret pumps it long. Win that, Reese. Win it. He does win it, Reese James. Brilliant header. Okay, to cut inside. Lovely. Look at Matuk trying to run through. He has run through. He's been the keeper. He's put too much on the dink. Probably shouldn't have tried to dink him from there, but a volley would have gone straight at him, so not much else we could have done. We have been more... Well, not prolific, because we haven't scored yet, but we've been more offensive than Arsenal so far. Okay, so finds Vert. Oh, that's a poor pass. Straight to Frimpong. Shankale. Walter Okafor. That is actually his name. That's an interesting one. I thought it was a nickname and I was going to look in the bottom right and it was going to be different, but it isn't. The new number nine for Arsenal Okafor. Maybe he's the man that they brought in to replace. Oh, to replace the Ketelaer. Richarlison. Stayed by Mendy. Falls right back to him and he is the player to watch. Richarlison scores for Arsenal. It's 1-0 to the Gunners. Seventh goal in six from the Carabao Cup for him. Oh, and we've given it straight to him. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's been given back to us. Lucky. Well, it's not great for us. It's not what we wanted. Chiesa, can we hit them back straight away? Werner at the back post! We can hit it back straight away! It was only 1-0 for two minutes before Timo Werner arrived at the back post and hammered home a Federico Chiesa cross. Uh, I, I skipped Richardson's celebrations, I've just noticed, but oh well, Chiesa, lovely ball, Werner on the volley, Merritt probably should have saved that one, there's been a couple of great saves by him that probably should have been goals, this one, how has he snuck that in the near post there, Timo Werner, I'll never know, but it was only 1-0 for two minutes before it was equalised, Chelsea won, Arsenal won at Wembley, looking like we're going to be at that scoreline heading into half-time, Unless Shankarle can make anything happen here, which he's, done, he's not done too bad. It'll cut it back for Richarlison. Shankarle, Richarlison, neither of them want to shoot. Shankarle has shot. It's 2-1. I do not believe it. What? What? Three goals. In how? How? Why does Chilwell just leave him alone? I'm not controlling Chilwell there. And he just runs away from him to give him the space in the middle. Thomas Shankarle puts Arsenal... Jesus, the team talks just changed three times in five minutes there. So we are behind, heading into half-time. Great. Fantastic. Uh, Nonny's going to come off. De Ketelaer on against his former side. See if he can put a dagger in, uh, another dagger in Arsenal hearts. So Nonny comes, the new number nine. Praying that we can at least score. It doesn't have to be him. It would be funny if it was, though. But we need to at least get one. Give it to Mount. Mount of Werner. Oh, he's in. De Ketelaer's in! Oh, good save, Alex Merritt. Needed to be as well. Versal nodded down for Mount. Why not on the edge of the box? Pretty poor angle, really. Merritt, Hernandez, bit of an awkward touch for him to do. Oh, he put, he put Pablo Mari under all sorts of pressure, and he's given away a penalty. Pablo Mari put under all sorts of pressure by Hernandez. Gives the penalty away. And Chelsea have a chance to get back in it. It's Timo Werner. To step up for Chelsea and take it. Praying that we can score. This would be ideal. Very top bins. Scored by Werner. The keeper goes the right way, but there's no saving that. 2-2. Two, two. So in the 40th minute, it was 0-0. In the 50th, it's 2-2. Two, two. Werner runs. We'll hug, we'll hug to Kel. Chiesa won the penalty. Timo Werner dispatched of it perfectly. There is no saving that for Alex Moret. And all of Arsenal's hard work yet again undone by a mistake. The first goal we got from them giving the ball away to us. And the second goal we get from a penalty. Okafor, that was a bit of a big tackle. No, no foul. Mount. 
little dink ball to Ketelaire is not going to beat Pablo Mari to that. He's actually on a yellow as well now, Pablo Mari. So if we can get him sent off, that would be incredible. Frimpong is in a way for Verts to Ketelaire. Chiesa. Man, oh, that goes back to Chiesa. He wasn't supposed to. His words! Oh, he should have scored! How didn't he? How didn't he score the German? The, new, the only German centre attacking midfielder now that Havertz has been ousted. Somehow he didn't score there. He should have done Florian Havertz. It should be 3-2. Emil Smith-Rowe is going to make an appearance. Coming on for Tomas Shankale. Uh, Hernandez. His Prado. Richard is having none of that, mate. Verts, Mount, Taverna. Looking for the free ball. Look who it is. It's the Ketelaire. Come back. Charles de Ketelaire. He's done it. He scored. He scored against them. Celebrate right in front of the fans. Look at that. Look at that shithousery. Charles de Ketelaire scores against the Arsenal team that he left barely a month ago. And celebrates directly in front of their fans. It's a good goal as well. He puts back past Pablo Mari and finds the corner in off the post. The absolute shithousery there from Charles de Ketelaire to score the goal that puts Chelsea ahead and celebrate like that. Incredible. Chelsea 3, Arsenal 2 in the 61st minute. And we're actually going to make subs. I'm going to take off Florian Verts and bring on... Whoa, and bring on Ebreche Eze. Um, I think that might be the only other sub I make. I don't know if I want to make any more. Unbelievable shit as we by the Ketelaire. Who's... Oh, that was a big one from Erdegaard. He's lucky he got the ball. I think I was, I was about to say he might have some crunching tackles coming for him. And he immediately got one. Emil Smith-Rowe has managed to sneak behind Chilwell here, though. There's still time for Arsenal. It's, oh, I'm well, not if Emil smith is going to do balls like that all the time. Um, I think Okafor was actually offside. Here is the sub, though. Florian Wurtz off. Ebreche Eze enters the field of play. On he comes. Werner, oh, Frimpong just in the way of the pass. And Mabari. Martin Odegaard runs right into Declan Rice, who's had a brilliant game. And Barry tries to knock it forward. Koundé's header only goes right back to him. Paudo. Inside and outside of Reece James. Koundé in the way of the cross. Hernandez cuts it back. Here's Amra Barry right in the way of the shot. Still in Arsenal possession. Hernandez is ball in. Rice not just clear and now Eze will take it further away. And look who's in again. De Ketelet's in again. That first one was supposed to go to him. We found him now with the second. He'll go back to Eze, Chiesa, what can he make happen? Slides in nicely, Ketelet, nice spin! Oh, what a save by Alex Merritt and De Ketelet could have sealed it there. Okafor is going off for, I'm not actually exactly sure who that is to come on. Oh, it's Balogun, okay. Balogun's on for Arsenal, I can just won that header. It's come back out to Mason Mount though! Odegaard in the way, Koundé has a go! Hernandez, everyone's leaving it, everyone is leaving it. Even De Ketelet left it. Koundé nods it down. Kays will nod it further on. Werner has a go from there. Oh, it wasn't far wide either, Timo Werner. One more, you think, now would secure it for Chelsea. 3-2, uh, though. Still a worrying scoreline, especially with my defensive ability. De Ligt has come out to claim that header. Whoever that was is complaining about it, but he's not going to get anything. Mount. Oh, he's going to slip him in. Oh, Kanji just about gets into Ketelet's way. Balogun. Hernandez. Rice is actually all the way forward here. Which is probably a poor decision. Hernandez under pressure again, though he crumbles. Declan Rice will actually take the throw in quickly there. Chiesa to Mount. Oh, he's in again. The Ketelet spins two men. Moret makes another great save. He's had a... Brilliant game despite conceding three. Alex Moret has been incredible. Balagun, what can he make happen? Nothing because Reece James has cut him off. Chiesa, his pass gets cut off itself though. Comes back to Rice, Ebreche Eze. Chiesa, Akanji saw the turn coming. Balagun, this is last chance to loon you feel for Arsenal. Odegaard to Paudo. Martin Odegaard. Oh, Reece James has missed it. Hernandez. The ball came in, double deflection, it goes out for a corner, it's out for a corner. Slow it down, we'll make a sub. Delic can come off for Rudiger, we'll make a sub, just to, just to waste some time, you know. 
if this was real life, that's what it would be for. Makes it now win it. Yes, he has. And Chiesa is going to win, win that. And Chiesa is going to lead the counter attack because we're in. We're all the way in. Federico Chiesa. Is he going to be caught by Fringpong? No, he's not. Could the catcher there? It's 4 2. It's the catcher there. Look how he celebrates in front of the Arsenal fans again. Charles de Catalan seals it for Chelsea. 4-2 in the Carabao Cup final. De Catalan at the double scores the winning goal. And then scores the goal to rub salt in the wounds. Chiesa shoved off Fringpong for half the field. And squared it to De Catalan who couldn't miss from there. 4-2 to Chelsea. And... We are the Carabao Cup champions now, almost surely, for the third year in a row, with Charles de Catalan scoring that one. And that is it. The whistle goes. An absolute shithouse performance from the Chelsea players. One in particular. Chelsea 4, Arsenal 2, with four of the six goals in the game coming in between the 42nd and 51st minute so what a 10 minutes that was if you went to get a pie during that then you will have been fuming um because the score would completely change by the time you come back but after being 2-1 down at half time chelsea win the second half by three goals to nil and we have successfully managed to win the Carabao Cup yet again. First trophy for Mason Mount to lift as Chelsea captain. I think we did win something earlier on in the season. It was a Super Cup. We simmed it. But it was when Kante was still here when he was the captain. So Mason Mount, for the first time as a Chelsea player, will lift a trophy. It's not the most prestigious, but Mount lifts the Carabao Cup for Chelsea Football Club. For the third year in a row, I think. I don't think we won it in the first season, but I'm pretty sure we've won it in each one since then. And Charles de Ketelaer, in less than a month after leaving Arsenal, has already won a trophy. Imagine that, eh? The Carabao Cup is coming to the blue side of London. Uh, well, actually, there's probably quite a few blue teams in London, so that doesn't make much sense. Chelsea have won the Carabao Cup. Mason Mount flying around with it. As for the Quetta's in the celebration somewhere back there, I'm not quite sure where he is. Where is he? Where is he? Where's Dave? Where is Dave? He's there. Oh, there he is in the background. There he is. You can barely see him. He's hiding behind everyone. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, which is actually the second next game we play. We play Watford in the Prem and then Barcelona in the second leg of the round of 16. I'll see you then. Au revoir.